So you asked for another bridge video and I'm happy to give it to you. But this time, we are going to talk about those bridges that are not so obvious. The ones tucked deep within the confines of the city that you'd have a hard time finding them unless someone specifically led you to them. These are not the bridges that will take you over the city's major rivers and estuaries. Instead, they stretch across unique bodies of water and sometimes no water at all. Today, we are touring some of New York's most fantastic places as we zoom in on the bridges that make these places so special. You'll find some that are magical, some full of history, some just plain fun, while others will be in a class of their own. So without further delay, here are 13 more awesome bridges in New York City. Number 1. The Gapstow Bridge Now we all know Central Park has many bridges, 36 to be exact, and no two are alike. So what better way to start off this list than with the Gapstow Bridge, Central Park's most famous bridge. This is the first one everyone encounters upon walking into the park at its most popular entrance, the southeast corner. When you break it down, it's just an ordinary stone bridge. However, what brings this simple bridge to life are its surroundings. Made of Manhattan schist, you'll find the Gapstow Bridge beautifully poised over the neck of the pond against a gorgeous backdrop of nature and one of my favorite views of the Manhattan skyline. Winter, spring, summer, or fall, it's a sight to behold in any season. Number 2. The Hunter College Skywalks Ah, Hunter College. A CUNY school located in the prestigious Upper East Side where it almost feels like you're attending an elite college. Not my alma mater, but I hold this college near and dear to my heart as I have some fond personal memories of this campus. Though the college has buildings all throughout the city, you will find its main campus as a collection of interconnected buildings along East 68th Street between Park and Lexington Avenue. Now what better way to connect the buildings than with a sky bridge spanning across 68th Street and a set of two more over Lexington Avenue. Completed in 1985 in the clunky brutalist style, today the bridges could probably use some help in the sleeker ultra-modern department. However, the views from above Lexington Avenue will always remain priceless. Number 3. The Ocean Avenue Pedestrian Bridge There's just something about color that makes any experience a thousand times better. I personally don't enjoy crossing old wooden bridges, particularly those in their gray-weathered state. However, when it's painted in a bright ultramarine blue, how could I resist? I'm sure you too will feel a strong urge to cross this striking blue bridge that goes by many other names. The Ocean Avenue Pedestrian Bridge cuts across the Sheep's Head Bay, taking you from mainland Brooklyn into Manhattan Beach. Now in case you weren't planning on going to the beach, you could always stroll the neighborhood simply to admire the fancy homes and McMansions throughout Manhattan Beach. Number 4. The Chinese Scholar Bridge You'll never get over how pretty this place is. If you want to experience an authentic Chinese garden, then head on over to Staten Island's Nug Harbor Cultural Center where you'll find the New York Chinese Scholar Garden. Completed in 1999, this garden is the real deal. All of its architectural elements were fabricated by a team of artists and artisans in Suzhou who later traveled to Staten Island where they spent six months constructing it all. Well, it's in this tranquil garden that you will find a variety of small footbridges fit for an emperor from the Ming Dynasty. But the one that stands out the most is this one. Not sure what it's called, or even if it has a name, but I just call it the Scholar Bridge. Number 5. The Tudor City Bridge Stretching above the east end of 42nd Street, right off the UN Plaza, is the bridge where you can view the entire span of Manhattan Island from east to west. You can access the Tudor City Bridge by walking up a long set of staircases along the sides of 42nd Street. Locals and tourists love this bridge as it is also the perfect spot for witnessing Manhattan Eng. That's that time of the year when the sun aligns with the Manhattan Grid at sunrise and at sunset. It only happens four days out of the year, so if you want to snap some great shots of Manhattan Eng, be sure to check your search engine to find out which days this rare phenomenon will take place this year. Number 6. The Pershing Square Bridge Speaking of 42nd Street, 
just a few avenues west of the Tudor City Bridge, is another cool bridge. This one spans over 42nd Street at Park Avenue. In fact, this bridge is Park Avenue, also known as the Park Avenue Viaduct or the Pershing Square Viaduct. It actually starts at 40th Street taking cars around Grand Central Terminal and the MetLife Building and then out through the Helmsley Building at 46th Street. The reason for this is because the three buildings sit right smack in the middle of Park Avenue and the viaduct is the only way to keep traffic flowing. The most attractive, as well as the most popular part of the viaduct, is the bridge over Pershing Square which you can view from below on 42nd Street. The rest of it you can skip because the viaduct is really just built for cars not pedestrians. Number 7. Bow Bridge This is Central Park's second most popular bridge, as well as its most romantic. Clearly, you can see why. Made out of all cast iron, Bow Bridge stretches gracefully across Central Park's lake, connecting the ramble with the Cherry Hill section of the park. Its creamy off-white hue creates a perfect contrast with the park's greenery while allowing it to be the center of attention from any part of the lake. In the warmer months, you can expect to see all eight of its urns overflowing with gorgeous flower arrangements and visitors magnetized to this bridge. Bow Bridge is not only one of the most Instagram spots in Central Park, but it's also a bridge of many first dates, many proposals, many wedding shots, and quite a few movie scenes. If I do say so myself, this is truly one of the city's most picturesque sites. Number 8. The Tribeca Bridge For pedestrians crossing West Street, otherwise known as the West Side Highway, things can get a bit tricky. This is the main reason for the Tribeca Bridge. Built in 1994, it spans over West Street, connecting Stuyvesant High, which sits in Battery Park City, to the BMCC campus on the other side. Also known as the Chambers Street Bridge, it serves to connect Battery Park City, which is actually a landfill, to the rest of Manhattan's financial district while uniting the two unique school campuses. Number 9. The Trinity Church Bridge This all-steel pedestrian bridge spanning across Trinity Place may look as if it's over a century old. However, it was actually erected much more recently. The decision to build the Trinity Bridge came after parishioners from the famed Trinity Church were tired of jaywalking each time they walked to and from their parish house across the street. The bridge was built in 1989, its light airy design inspired by a similar cast iron bridge which spanned Broadway and Fulton back in 1866. With the completion of Trinity Commons in 2021, we will truly be able to see how the bridge works to merge the old together with the new. Number 10. The Chelsea Market Skybridge They sure don't make skybridges like they used to a hundred years ago. Perhaps this is why many of the super old ones have been dismantled. Thankfully though, there are still a handful of them throughout the city that were left intact, and the Chelsea Market Skybridge, boasting gorgeous palladium-style windows, is the prettiest of them all. Located on 15th Street between 9th and 10th Avenues, it was originally built to connect the former Nabisco factory, which is now the Chelsea Market building, to its neighboring office building. Today the Skybridge is no longer in use, as the office spaces in the two buildings have no relation to each other. But that doesn't keep everyone from admiring this quirky remnant from the past. Perfect views of the Chelsea Market Skybridge can also be seen directly from the nearby High Line. Number 11. The Squib Park Bridge this is that awesome footbridge that allows you to zigzag your way from the Brooklyn Heights Promenade directly into Brooklyn Bridge Park. Completed in 2013, the original wooden bridge had to be dismantled due to structural issues. However, it was replaced in 2020 and reopened as an all-new, all-steel Squid Park Bridge. Now again, you can walk from Pier 1 to Brooklyn Heights in style and again in zigzag fashion. The entire stretch is a sight to behold so be sure to keep your camera handy at all times. Number 12. Gothic Bridge This is one more of Central Park's bridges that absolutely had to make this list. Seriously, let's just pause for a minute to admire this stunning pedestrian bridge that was named after its curvaceous neo-gothic design. Also known as the Reservoir Bridge, you can find this cast iron beauty on a northwest bridle path between the Tennis Center and the Reservoir. 
Built in 1864 as a walkway over the bridle path to avoid equestrian traffic, today, even without the horses, it still has a very important job to do. And that is to simply add beauty and charm to the park's landscape. And last, we have number 13, the West Thames Street Bridge. This long-awaited bridge was completed in late 2019. The West Thames Street Bridge is constructed of mainly steel with a glass roof and sides. It's another one of those accommodating bridges designed to assist pedestrians across the traffic-clogged West Street while enjoying unique views of Lower Manhattan. It comes equipped with elevators and access to the public plaza at the adjacent luxury building. You will find this brand new modern bridge at the intersection of West Thames Street, West Street, and Joseph P. Ward Street looking quite spectacular as it links the financial district to Battery Park City. And that's it for the 13 coolest bridges in New York City. I know, you don't have to tell me. There are a lot that didn't make the list. Well, if there are some other unique bridges in the city that you hold near and dear to your heart, don't be shy. Do let the rest of us know what they are so we can continue the dialogue. Anyway, if there's anything else you'd like to say about this topic, feel free to respectfully share it with us in the comments below. Furthermore, if you got any value out of this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and click on the bell icon if you'd like to see more videos about New York City, our favorite city, one list at a time. With that said, I'd like to thank you for watching, and we'll see each other next time.